Good morning. I'm Ken Leonhardt, your Commissioner of Agriculture. I'm asking for your support for my re-election, but I don't want to ask for that support for re-election unless I detail to you some of the great things my team and I have accomplished since I've been in office over the last three and a half years. If you look in the background, you'll see cattle back there. Actually, uh, January 1, 2020, there was 5,000 more head of cattle in West Virginia than January 1, 2019. That's good for agriculture. If you look at my garden here, there's been more garden seeds sold this past year. Our homesteading series is hitting a, it out of the park. We're hitting a home run with that one. And many people are getting on to see how they can grow their own food and how small farmers can succeed in West Virginia. If you look at things like lavender, lavender production is up and we've got a cooperative agreement with our unit with West Virginia State University on growing lavender in the state prisons. If you look at honey production, honey production is way up in the state of West Virginia. It's actually so much that it's put a strain on our uh, beekeeping inspection system. If you look at uh, dairy, uh, herd share is growing. And we actually have some people talking about doing that new law that we passed of on-farm pasteurization. Those are some great things that are happening in West Virginia. Hemp, let's talk about hemp a little bit. When I took office, there was only 28 hemp growers in the state. Now we have somewhere around 300 growers and processors for industrial hemp. We must be doing something right if we're getting those kind of numbers. Also, we've increased more than double our maple syrup production in the state. You know, West Virginia has more maple trees than Vermont. And where does most of that maple syrup go? It goes down south. So we're right there to sell our maple because the shipping costs will be lower. And let's not forget, none of this would have been possible if we hadn't worked really hard to improve the regulations within the state of West Virginia and deregulated to take those burdens off our small farmers here in the state. As an example, also in our timber industry, we changed the way the exportation inspections are done for logs and timber working with our, the USDA and our federal and our foreign partners, uh, we increased in the first year a thousand more containers at a value of about $20,000 per container. That's $20 million we brought in to West Virginia. Also, we can't forget how all this was possible also in our cooperation with our universities and colleges across the state. You know, it's historic for the Commissioner of Agriculture to be asked to be on the search committee for the Dean of the Davis College of Agriculture and the Dean of WVU Extension. These are great things that are happening. With all these great accomplishments and we're moving the state of West Virginia forward in agriculture, I'm asking you to give me a chance to continue moving West Virginia forward with all these great accomplishments. Please vote for Kent Leonhardt once again in November.